does that just take your calling to a whole different level? The arts, the arts are going to reach people that reason cannot. So in your practice room, baby, let it count, right? Let it count for a soul. Now, I encourage you to get out there. In February, we took a team of 13 to the Sochi Olympics. And while I was planning for this, I, I had this vision of us performing this piece that incorporated the, the creation and the fall and God commissioning people to go out and do his work, all based on the idea of the Winter Olympics. So creation is going to be like hockey players. I mean, you, know, you know what I'm saying? They were going to like do the Olympic sports there in the Olympic Village, and that would have been so cool. And then when we were staging this in Puerto Rico at that Christian Music Theater Arts Conference, we were staging the crucifixion and the flagellation of Jesus, and they're like, whoa, whoa. and I was thinking, perhaps this won't work in the Olympic Park. And then I talked to the local missionaries, and they said, you cannot proselytize to minors in Russia. It is against the law to share the good news of the gospel with somebody under 18 in Russia. So, by presenting the gospel in a visual form, we would be breaking the law, it could be deported immediately. So, they challenged us to come up with a Russian folk tale that would speak to the Russian heart. Now, I told them, guys, the Olympics, when we were in London, we counted to over 30 different nations. I mean, just by giving the Russians, maybe, yeah, there will obviously be Russians there because we're in Russia, but we need to pick something bigger. No, 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 trust us. There were like 92% of people at the Olympics this year were from Russia. People stayed away in droves. They expected 30,000 uh, U.S. citizens, and only about 10,000 showed up, and most of them worked for NBC. We were like, we were like celebrities. So I was so, so relieved I listened to this missionary's heart. And he picked a piece entitled, Sarevna Blagusha. After we called that out, we did our own flash mob. They, we were inspired by last year's at Walmart. And then we called out the title in various languages. <laughs> Which means, the princess frog. So, we performed this little fairy tale, and I got to play Keshe, who I'll get to play in the dance later. But Keshe is this evil man who has turned this princess into a frog. And Prince Ivan valiantly goes to save her, but on his way, he encounters all of these different animals that help him. And at the end, it's a fish that saves the day. Inside the fish is an egg, inside the egg is a needle, Ivan breaks the needle, Pache falls to his death. What a perfect form of violence for the Olympic venue. And, and so, we cut to the fish. We left all the other animals out to put this tension in the Russian mind. Wait a minute, they left out this whole big section. Then, when we were done, we all called out, Kato Riva! <laughs> which means who is the fish there we were, we're born in Russia and who is the fish we have the card in all these different languages and when they go to the website you have this explanation that the reason we focus just on the fish is because the fish is Ictus back in the first century the religious persecution was so extreme you would be thrown to the lions if you believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior. If you're not willing to worship the Roman gods and pray to the emperor, you were thrown to the lions. So to keep this kind of underground, they would draw half of a fish in the sand. Someone would come up and complete that, and that was the Ictus. And it stands for Jesus Christos Deu Rios Sotir. And then on this website, they see the testimony translated into six languages by humans, and then Google took over and has all these different translations. And it's Eric Metaxas, who was an atheist at Yale, and when he came out, he was empty, searching, he had this vision. He grew up ice fishing, and in this vision, he was out ice fishing, and out of the hole in the ice, this 
golden fish comes to him. Not usually how it works with ice fishing. But the fish came to him. He grabbed the fish and held it up. And a friend of his, who was a Christian, asked him, what do you think the vision means? Well, he was a good Greek boy. He knew that the fish was Ichthus. And he said, I know this means that... See, this is the thing. I, I, I got this in the setup. You can watch the Old Testament at LewisTheFish.com. This concept of God, because he eventually he gave up on atheism because of this isn't make sense to him. And he saw, he said, there must be something out there. It can't be Christianity, that's too parochial. But it, it's got to be something. And this vision of what God was, was a frozen lake. And underneath the, the ice was this nebulous something. And if you broke through the ice and touched the inert water, that was spiritual success. So God broke his whole paradigm. He showed no, no, it is not inert nothing. It is a person. And you can have a relationship with him. And he knew as he pulled that fish out of the water that he was accepting Jesus. So I want to close with an enacted prayer for all of us here. This is a prayer for all of us that we might be commissioned by God himself to go out into the world and use the arts to draw people to himself. So with the Trinity, please step forward. So we have Sam playing God the Father, Tim is playing Jesus, and Rachel is playing the Holy Spirit. And so, Lord Jesus, we pray, and some of us maybe for the first time, we pray that you would commission us to use our arts for your glory, to use our gifts and talents for your kingdom purposes. Lord Jesus, would you send us out? Would you show us where to use our gifts to move people through the arts where logic doesn't get through to draw them to yourself and into an unbelievable eternal relationship with you? We pray this in Jesus' name.
Father, as you send us out into our quiet time, would you meet with us? Father, some for maybe the first time. Or those that aren't ready to pray to invite you in, Lord, would you move them? Challenge them? To make yourself real to them. And for Father, for those of us uh, who've been walking with you for years, would you refresh us and give us a new vision for how you want to use our talents and gifts? And we pray all of this. And, and Father, I just, the enacted prayer of you, but I just want to commission this one to Lord God, that you would set them up, open doors, Father, that no man can close. Their gifts and their talents might go before kings and princes and governors, that you would put them before decision makers, producers, directors, conductors, Lord God. Use us, get us into every part of society. Make us salt and light. And we pray it all in Jesus' name. And bring many of us to Rio for the Olympics in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, we're gathering a group to go to Rio. So uh, sign up at richdrama.com forward slash updates. And we'd love to take you along. Thank you so much.